Shalom, brothers and sisters. So again, the alien agenda in preparation for the big excuse as to what happened to all of these people in the rapture. UFO whistleblower isn't the only one. David Grush claimed the government has a UFO retrieval program. Marco Rubio revealed that other government officials have got similar claims. There's safety in numbers. Rubio told News Nation on Monday that he has heard from first-hand witnesses in high positions in our government to some of the claims made by Grush, so proving them correct. <clears throat> Sorry, there are people that have come forward to share information with our committee over the last couple of years. I want to be very protective of these people. A lot of them come to us before protections were in the law for whistleblowers. Grush claims the government is covering up evidence that UFOs really are extraterrestrial, Nephilim, and that he has seen evidence of a secret crash retrieval program. The Air Force veteran alleges the U.S. has even retrieved bodies from other species. Grush spoke about these claims exclusively and reported to News Nation. Rubio said some of the officials with similar claims to Grush are public figures with high clearances. So, if you look at it from a non-biblical, non-Christian world point of view, you'd say, ooh, it's all unraveling at the seams. All the truth's finally going to come out. But if you look at it through the correct lenses, you can see, ooh, they're preparing to get the world to accept the Nephilim as they return onto the world stage. Everything that's coming out now that'll be used as excuses and to guide mankind into false one-world religion. So, I mean, I researched this for many years. We can probably do a video two hours long just on the UFO alien phenomena starting at even before Roswell to Roswell to crashes in Russia to Tunguska to our own event here in South Africa with a shoot down and retrieval and all these things. There's a lot of verifiable, creditable, good information which proves the fact of these things happening. But there's a lot in evidence and eyewitness accounts that ties to the fact that it is evil, demonic, and tied to the Nephilim. So I'm just going to mention two from the vast amount of information out there. Um, there's one very famous woman in America. I can't think of her name right now. When I do, I'll pop it on the community wall. Her and her husband were driving on a road in a backcountry area in America. And the UFO came, the car died, as per normal UFO stories, and the UFO came down in front of the car. She was a born-again believer. So she hopped out of the car, pointed at it, and rebuked it in the name of Jesus Christ. It immediately, instantly fled, as in disappeared into another direction. Why would advanced aliens from another star system flee at the name of Jesus Christ if they weren't evil? Obviously because these are evil phenomena, demonic entities, Nephilim inspired. There's darkness involved in the whole situation and that little incident just proves it. Another one was a whistleblower that came out a few years ago who was talking about the underground bases. You've probably heard this as well and thought your conspiracy friends are nuts. Um, at one of these alien underground bases, he had high clearance and he was being cleared to go all the way down. And on the way down, he says he could see further down. And this is where the government people and the aliens, aliens were working together on technology and advancements and moving mankind forward and had agreements in place. But... He got to the point where they're doing a final full interview before you're allowed to go through and actually meet the aliens. And one of the top things that he says was on the list is you're not allowed to be a Christian. You're not allowed to mention Jesus Christ or the Bible or anything to do with that. And if you are or have any affiliation to that or are going to mention anything about that, you're out. You can't go further because they will not tolerate that. So why don't they have no tolerance for Islam, Buddhism, Sikhism, all those things, New Age movement, pagan gods? They got no problems with those. But come here with your Jesus and your Bible, we're going to have issues. That tells me you are the enemy, clear as day, and you're courting humanity to destruction as in the days of Noah. So 
that's probably a little bit more information than you wanted but that is information that's out there like i say that's not all there's a lot more and there's dedicated watchmen that just drill into this that actually dig into the nephilim incidents and everything that's going on with that and it's evil it's part of the agenda of end times and they're going to play a big role as it was in the days of noah people don't want to talk about this little fact now, where are the Nephilim? Have you seen the alien encounters? Have you seen the UFOs? Have you read about the abductions? Have you seen the mutilations? The Nephilim are returning in full force and not just them. There's stories about giants that come up regularly. We can draw into that alone in another video as well. But my point being, not to go off track here, they are preparing the world to explain away the rapture and they're making this as mainstream as possible as fast as possible by creditable people that are coming out worried about their safety no they've been told to come out this is all part of the program they'll be just fine interesting how the enemy works and the masses will fall for it mostly so if this is post rapture and everyone's disappeared and you somehow by the grace of God, have found this video. They are lying to you. You see an alien or Nephilim or any of these great masters from the heavens that have arrived to help mankind ascend. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus and you'll be fine. God is above all and more powerful than all. Shalom.